Hi. Today I'm going to talk about a question someone has asked me. So I recently met a, a young person from India. He uh, asked me a number of questions related to uh, you know his uh, ambition to do master's degree in the US uh, in the field of quantitative finance and there are many options available. Um, some uh, degree programs are okay masters in financial engineering and some degree programs are like masters in financial mathematics. Um, quantitative finance, uh, financial economics, um, and, and so on, computational finance as well. So there are several of these categories and he was a bit confused uh, and he showed me some uh, you know examples actually, he showed me the websites where the you know description of these programs um, are you know uh, mentioned and he wanted me to go through uh, you know these uh, program, the details about these programs, and 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 talk to him about the differences, and and which one is more suitable for him. Now he is someone who is uh, aiming to work uh, in in quant research, and he wanted to know actually which program um, is more suitable, whether it's the masters in financial mathematics or it's a master in financial engineering, which one is is the best suited for for him or her. Okay. Let me first uh, clarify this, that, uh, you know, the academia world is full of jargons, you know, ac academicians uh, love jargons. And it's not a surprise that in this particular field, you have different types of, um, you know, uh, higher education programs in the same field, which pretty much teach uh, similar stuff. You won't find much of a difference between a master's degree in financial engineering from that of master's degree in quant finance from that of master's degree in mathematical finance or, fi or computational finance, right? Most of the universities providing these degrees would teach you the, the same topics, okay? There may be subtle differences, but you won't find uh, a significant difference in this uh, in these programs, right? It's very important therefore to, um, not to not to worry too much about uh, the type of program. Having said that, it's always good to go through the the syllabus taught, and uh, you know ask the people who have done the courses just to know actually what is it is focused on. Some programs are focused on, let's say, you know teaching you stuffs which are going to be used in the banking world in the, on the sell side, right? Uh, for example, doing derivative research, writing reports for your clients, and so on. Um, but less about let's say trading and asset management on the buy side, right? Um, some programs are tailored made for uh, risk modeling careers, right? Uh, making a career in uh, market risk modeling, credit risk modeling and so on. Some programs are heavily into machine learning AI with bit of finance. Some programs are heavily mathematical and bit of finance. So that's mathematical finance programs where you know the, the the expectation is that you probably will do a PhD in mathematical finance after uh, after after doing the master's degree, right? So uh, these things are more important things to uh, know rather than uh, you know uh, just finding the difference between mathematical finance and quantitative finance and financial engineering, right? These are simply jargons. But go through the topics which are, are taught in those programs. Check uh, the state, the the profiles of the alumni, uh, the people who have done these programs and where they are working. Right, you will find some programs where you know after having done it, um, people go to uh, you know high street banks to to work in in their uh, research department or in their uh, risk management department. Right, but there will also be uh, cases where you will see that uh, you know alumni is from from a given department, go on to work in trading and asset management, right? And accordingly, you decide which one is more suited, suitable for you, right? And there are programs where, you know, you will have a mix of, bit of mix of both, right? Uh, you'll find people, um, people working in the trading asset management side, but also in the banking insurance side as well, right? And there are programs where, you know, it's more academic, where people go on to do PhD and become professors and so on. Especially the financial economics programs are, are more or less like that. Um, right. So, um, so to answer this question, yes, uh, there may be some difference, but most of the things, most of the times, you won't find much of a difference between these programs.
right but uh, it's good to uh, go through uh, the syllabus taught uh, in in these programs right um if you think the program is run by a mathematics department it probably will be very abstract and very heavily theoretical uh, in nature and right? less about computation less about machine learning ai less about applied econometrics it will be more about uh, um you know probability and and statistics uh, core statistics and and uh, you know advanced calculus and so on right um so that would be more mathematical heavy masters degree right and if you are someone who is heavily into abstract mathematics you probably will prefer that but if you want a bit of applied for example if the baruch college uh, you know i've done a video on that on this channel they are more applied right um so they strike a balance between heavy theory the abstract mathematical concepts but also the applications uh, used in the field of ml and ai uh, but also the real world uh, problems if a program is run by the economics department which is the case in many cases it will be more financial economics heavy that means you will be taught you know the portfolio theory portfolio management um you know the pharma french model and all those things um you know it will be heavily econometrics focused okay uh, not bad at all because econometrics is heavily used in the field of finance in all areas of field, all areas of finance but then it will be more of economics it will be uh, less uh, taught about ml ai or c++ coding and so on right it will be more about how you can perform econometrics financial econometrics analysis using financial data using whatever software is you are comfortable with they don't care about which software you use which programming language you use you may be using matlab or r or python that's uh, less important for economists so you know it will be more you know reading about macroeconomic research may reading about now these are programs which are tailored made for people who are interested in in economics and financial economics in general if you want to work in moody's or or, or s&p want to do research fundamental research it's again technical or uh, quantitative in nature but it's not like you know doing quantitative research as an asset management form that's quite different you know if you work at moody's or 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 s&p or you want to work in some macroeconomic research department of a large bank you'll performing you'll be performing quite a number of uh, quantitative analysis especially uh, you know performing regression analysis time series analysis panel data analysis and so on uh, but that's a different kind of work many people especially those who come from cs background engineering or or science or com in, uh, computer science background uh, they probably won't like such work right but if you have a background in statistics or economics you probably will prefer a ms msc in financial economics to work in quantitative side whereas you heavy mathematical background you are a mathematician then go for mathematical finance uh, if you want a balance program go for financial engineering programs okay again look at the uh, the the topics taught and not go through just by the heading the the title of the program right because underneath you might find totally different uh, sort of uh, topic but if you are confused it's good to reach out to people like me or someone else who has been in this field for some time so and depending on what your needs are you can always uh, you can always choose what's best suited for you uh, go to quantnet quantnet is a really good uh, site where you can find good information about different programs academic programs in quant finance um you can find many articles written on quantnet so that's one really good uh, platform to to visit if you are confused about and you have questions about this all right thanks guys